So a friend messaged me the other day saying, you've done a lot of weird stuff in Godot. Can you make a graph? He was specifically referring to a line chart. So I took a look at the asset library. Looking good. Let's not use any of that. I didn't want to deal with font size and all that manually, given that Godot is pretty good at handling those things. So I opted for a container based approach. I created a 3 by 3 grid to have space for access labels, tick labels and the actual line chart. All it needs is a few placeholder controls to align things, expand size flags on the control specifying the usable space for the line chart, and centering the x and y axis labels. In code I exported some variables to customize the design and used the ready function to apply them to the line chart body and line to d. Now we can't do much without actual data. So I added two test presets, one with categorical X values and one with numerical values. I made a check whether axis values are indeed numerical, as this will help with labeling later. Further, I computed the minimum and maximum values for each axis so I can determine which numbers to show on axis ticks. I used a simple helper function to make sure categorical data would just use the index instead of the value itself. With this all done, it was time to generate the actual tick labels. There's a bit of math here to align the axes with the min and max values on the numerical data. Categorical data will just assume the tick count matches the number of categories though, so you might want to add a check in case it doesn't. The labels are centered and set to expand on their respective axes, as this will make them space out evenly. I noticed values were the wrong way around on the y axis. So I just inverted the loop order and everything was fine. In the video I also rounded digits to the nearest integer, which can cause some odd spacing when two numbers are closer together than they should be. This becomes irrelevant on larger integers, but if you're using small values it could help to round to a specific number of digits after the decimal point. All that's needed now is adding points to the line to D. I did a few more calculations to figure out how the points need to be scaled, adding separate helper functions for scaling x and y values. Testing it, everything seemed almost right, but the line was slightly off. A bit of debugging and I noticed two issues. First, I made a typo up above. Easy fix. Next, Godot didn't immediately update the control's rectangle sizes after adding text to the layout. To fix this, I added a yield call, effectively pausing my ready function until the next idle frame, at which point the rectangles should be properly updated. Another test with both datasets, and all seems to be working. Huh, guess I didn't have to go and make a Python utility to access matplotlib in Godot after all. Though it would add a lot of options. Hi, I'm Daniel. Obviously there are still a lot of things that could be added and improved to make this design more versatile. If you want to use it or develop an improved version of your own, you can find the source code in the doobly-doo. I'll be uploading more of these kinda sorta tutorials in the future, so consider subscribing if you like that sort of thing. This will be all for today. Bye.